So this is a way of finding area uh, for a triangle and when they only give you three side lengths. So they don't give you any angles, they don't give you like the height of the triangle, they just give you the three sides. That's when we can use Heron's area formula. And what you do is you want to find the semi-perimeter. That's what the S represents here. You add up all three sides, A, B plus C, right? Add them all together, divide by two, so it's half the perimeter. And then what you do is you use this formula here. You take that semi-perimeter times the semi-perimeter minus each of the sides in turn, okay? And then you multiply them all together. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's do an example. So say, for example, our problem looks like this. Say it's five, uh, let's say maybe seven and eight. Those are our three sides of our triangle. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the perimeter, we're gonna add up all three sides, so that comes out to 20 divided by two equals 10. So that's our semi-perimeter. All right, see so with me so far? So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put that into our area formula. Okay, so area of the triangle equals the semi-perimeter, which is 10, then we have 10 minus five, that's this side, 10 minus seven, that's this side over here, and 10 minus eight, that's this side here. If we simplify that down, we get 10 times five times two, oops, I'm sorry, times three times two, right? And then we take the square root of that, which comes out to what? That's, let's see, 15, 30, 300, so square root of 300, which equals 100 times three, the square root of 100 times the square root of three, so that comes out to 10 square root of three units squared, and that's our exact area for the triangle.